Hello and welcome to Freeze Block Solutions. My name is Brian and we're here to talk to you about the Hot Point and the GE refrigerator on why you achieve water inside your lower cabin two to three times a day. If you're an appliance technician or a maintenance professional, you deal with this issue all too often. In this video, we're going to talk to you on how to remove the ice and we'll go through a simple process on how to do that. In the second video, we'll talk about the product how to install it, and what the product is going to do to prevent future freeze-up. Okay, now we're going to remove the ice maker and the inner panels of the freezer. It's a very simple process. Uh, you may need a quarter inch nut driver or a Phillips screwdriver, but we'll get this removed. Lift it up out of here. And unplugs on the side and we'll just put this to the side. Okay this particular unit has four screws two here and two in the back there's also one on each corner of the back panel so you're going to want to remove these and keep in mind the screws in the front are longer than the ones in the rear so when you go back to install them these screws that are too long won't fit in the back so we'll get this loosened up up through Pretty simple process to do go through here. And we'll lift the shroud out, pull this out of the way. And we're going to take this part here, you want to lift it, and you go up, pull it out this way. Okay, we've removed most of the ice that's down here on the uh, bottom. There's still a little bit more to go. And the best way is chip it out with a uh, putty knife, something like that. When you get to the foil here, what I use is a putty knife. Get under it gently. Uh, some other people I've seen, they just break these off. You don't want to break this. You want to be patient and come off with it so it lifts out. You know, get in here, lift all this other ice out. Okay, we're going to gently kind of come in here so we can gently break this up. So, the, good. All right. This is your airfoil. You don't want to break it. If you do break it, uh, just try not to. The ice attack in here. Go ahead and let's get this all cleared out. And we're going to remove all this ice here. Get all this cleaned out through here. And you want to get all the ice out underneath. Now this is a condensation pa uh, pan right here. So when it goes into drain, it will drain down in this hole but this is where all of it drips. Okay, we're gonna, at this point, we're gonna clean out this drain here um, using a turkey baster and hot water uh, is ideal to use. We're gonna shove it down in here and we're gonna wanna get it flushed. Now, we've pretty much have thought out this refrigerator, but to give you the idea and the concept, you wanna get in here and flush that drain very thoroughly. Now, in the back wall that I've taken off, this is to show you what's back inside the freezer. We have our coils that handle the Freon and the cooling. We have our defrost heater and our evaporator fan motor, which moves this airflow from the freezer to the refrigerator and returns back. This over here is a terminator, or known as a safety thermostat. Okay, back to this the condensation pan. We want to set it back down in here. But first, we, we do want to dry up underneath it. We want this dry. And we're going to put this back right in position here before we put in our uh, panels back in. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and install the back wall. Okay, now we're going to put in the lower panel. And this is very critical in how you put this in. You want to make sure that this condensation pan is underneath the bottom side on each uh, of the side of this panel. So come in, good way, makes it hold it down, tip it up in there a little bit, and once you've got it secured under here, your condensation pan is in a good position. Next we'll put in the foil, which goes right here, and there you go. Now we're going to attach the back wall, and this slips up in here. Add your two short screws and your two long screws in the front, install your ice maker, and now we're going to go back down to the refrigerator. Discuss that video there. 